start good morning friends uh, we will discuss with the next methodology that is the simpsons 3 8 rule This three eight rule is also called as triple strip integral. Uh, now we will discuss the next methodology that is Simpson's three eight rule that is also called as the triple strip integration. What we can say about this methodology? This methodology uses polynomial of degree three. Polynomial of degree three. Degree 3 means it is a cubic equation. Cubic equation means in the form of ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is equal to 0. If you observe here, the maximum index is 3. Maximum index is 3 means that by using a cubic equation, we require minimum 4 number of points to join the curve. Therefore, in triple step integration or in most popularly it is called as the Simpson's 3-8 rule every major strip is being divided into the three number of substrips like in case of Simpson's 1-3 rule every major strip is being divided into the two number of strip and right now here in every major strip is being divided into the three number of substrip now let us see how it is being done if I want to integrate I having a limits from x0 to xn f of x dx. I want to integrate from x0 to xn. Now how it can be done? Suppose I am having a curve that is x to f of x having the limits from x0 to xn. Okay, what I said? This is one major strip. Every major strip is being divided into the three number of substrips. Now how the three number of substrips will be there? Now let us say 1, 2 and 3. Three substrips are there. The corresponding point will be x1, x2, this will be x3. x1 will be equal to x0 plus h, x, this will be x0 plus 2h, this will be x0 plus 3 edge because every substrip will have a height of edge. Height of edge. Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3 is there. All these points will be joined with the, with the help of a polynomial of degree 3. If you observe the error will be very very less. Now the area will be calculated as 3h by 8 y0 plus 3 times of y0 plus 3 times of y1 plus 3 times of y2 plus y3 and h will be calculated as xn minus x0 divided by 3 times of n where n is nothing but number of major strip. Here every major strip is being divided into the three number of substrips. Now let us see if two number of major strips are available what will happen. Now suppose I will have a two number of major strips then x versus f of x is there having the same curve x0 to xn these are the two number of major strips. Now what is going to happen in Simpson's 3-8 rule? Every major strip is being divided into the three number of substrips. One, two, three. This is the second major strip. One, two, three. Every uh, substrip will have a height of H. Now points will be x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and this will be x6, y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6. Now how to find out the total area? The total area will be equal to the area of first strip plus area of second strip. 
Now what will be the area of first rib? That is 3h by 8 into what is the first rib? Having a limits from x0, x1, x2, x3 corresponding y0, y1, y2 and y3 that is y0 plus 3 times of y1 plus 3 times of y2 plus y3 the area of second strip will be equal to 3h by 8 into y3 plus 4 times sorry 3 times of y4 plus 3 times of y5 plus y6 will be there then the addition of the total area the total area will be equal to addition of these two areas now how can to calculate total area that is 3h by 8 y0 plus 3 times of y1 plus 3 times of y2 plus y3 plus 3h by 8 y3 plus 3 times of y4 plus 3 times of y5 plus y6 is there now we will simplify this one that is 3h by 8 is a common factor we will take y0 plus 3 times of y1 plus 3 times of y2 plus y3 plus y3 plus 3 times of y4 plus 3 times of y5 plus y6 is there then further simplification will be 3h by 8 y0 plus y6 is there plus 3 times of y1 plus y2 plus y4 plus y5 now in simple language we can write this one in simple language we can write this one like this that is 3h by 8 first term plus last term plus summations of remaining terms summation of remaining remaining terms okay and now this is the total area uh, the formula simplified formula let us again see it 3h by 8 into summation of first plus last term plus three times of summations of remaining terms now i think all of you may understood that is in Simpson 3 8 rule every major strip is being divided into the three number of subscript h will be calculated as xn minus h0 divided by three times of n now we'll try to solve some of the numericals based on Simpson's 3 8 rule now all of you are ready with uh, your pen and the calculator now let us solve note down the numerical note down the numerical evaluate using Simpson's 3 8 rule evaluate using Simpson's 3 8 rule integration from 0 to pi by 2 integration from 0 to pi by 2 sin x plus cos x sin x plus cos x raised to 1 by 2 into dx using one number of major set using one number of major strip now we try to solve this by the uh, simpson's 3 8 rule now we can say we can find out value what is the value of x0 is 0 xn is equal to pi by 2 then uh, n is equal to 1 therefore we can find out h is equal to xn minus x0 divided by 3 times of n that is pi by 2 minus 0 divided by 3 into 1 okay pi by 2 minus 0 divided by 3 into 1 finally you will get a formula pi by 6 that is h is equal to pi by 6 now we will evaluate the values of x we will evaluate value of x and value of y x is equal to x0 is equal to 0 x1 is equal to pi by 6 ok uh, uh, pi by 6 then x2 will be equal to 2 pi by 6 x4 will be equal to 3 pi by 6 that will be equal to pi by 2 
Now let us see the next one. Y is equal to sin x plus cos x raised to half. Therefore, substitute value to find out value of y is zero. Find out value of uh, substitute value of x zero is equal to zero. That is sin zero plus cos zero raised to half. Okay, find out this value. You will get y zero is equal to one. Y one will be equal to one point one six eight seven. Y two will be equal to again one point one six eight seven, and Y three will be oh, sorry. This is Y three, Y two, and this is Y three will be equal to one. Now we'll write the formula total area that is area is equal to. 3 h by 8 into our formula y0 plus 3 times of y1 plus 3 times of y2 plus y3. Substitute all the values in the formula, and finally you will get the total area. The total area is equal to 1.7696. Okay. Uh, then uh, by the simple three hundred rule, the total area is equal to one point seven six nine six. Now we can solve the some other numericals also uh, in, from your assignments. Uh, assignment you can see in our website, and you can solve the remaining uh, problems. Uh, this is entirely regarding the uh, simple three hundred rule. That is the triple strip integration. Now in the next lecture, we will discuss about the Gauss quadrature formulas. Thank you.